team different from uh, last year? Well, every, every year, team's different. You know, we got a little bit more pitching this year. We got some different guys moved around different positions. Jared Hawley's playing third. We got a new shortstop. And, you know, we got some young guys coming in as that happens in college baseball. And, you know, we'll, we'll see what we're all about here in a week. Yeah, with all those changes, is it going to make it difficult at the start of the year to kind of everyone to know their place, know their role? Yeah, I think so. I think every team goes through that, though. Everybody's got to find out about their role and, you know, what, what your job is on this year's team as it changes year to year. And what's your role? Um, I think I need to take a little bit more responsibility this year as a leader and on and off the field and, you know, produce at the plate and on the field. And, you know, it's my job to lead the young ones, you know, because I was once a young one and I followed up to like guys like DJ and Mitchell Garver. And now it's my job to do the same that they did for me. Talk about the, you know, you and Jared are DP combo here for the last two years. Now you've got Dalton. What's that uh, communication? How's that working out for the two of you right now? Uh, well, it's pretty good because I actually met Dalton before I came to school at UNM and we played up the middle together on a, a summer 18U travel team. And, you know, me and him had been pretty good friends through my first two years. And having him over there now, it didn't skip a beat, really. Um, I think what will be the biggest thing we'll get out of it is some experience for the younger guys. Get their feet wet and let them see what college baseball is all about because it's a lot different than high school. So I think that will be the biggest thing, get some of the new guys in there and just can't teach experience, so that'll be good. What's the biggest difference? I mean, when you made that transition, what, what's the biggest difference, uh, you know, from going to high school to that college level? The game is a lot faster for one of the reasons, and then uh, better competition. You get to face a lot of better guys. It's just, it's a harder, it's a harder game in college. Taylor, Taylor, coming from Albuquerque, does it give you advantage being a Lobo here in town? Oh, yeah. I love playing here, but um, I don't know. I like, I love playing here. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to play anywhere else. So, how is it seeing? I mean, a lot of New Mexico kids coming up and like, you know, competing really well up at this level. It's awesome. It's it's really good for our state in general, just to go out and show a lot of other states and people around the country that kids from around here can play. And, uh, I love it. Baseball this year. I know your pitching coach not not a big fan of it. I mean, how much have you been able to kind of work with it? Does it feel different? Or you, is it, does it sound different coming off the bats or anything to you? It does feel different because the seams are lowered, but I actually personally like it. I I don't know. I think I think the balls run more, and there's a lot more movement, which is kind of weird. But I I like them. I don't see a problem. You seem like it travel a little farther. That is true. They do. <laughs> They hit it right, it will go a little bit further. That's like 15, fact. 20 feet? Nah, <laughs> a little more than that. <laughs> How's your pitching uh, changed since the first time you came here when you were a freshman to, to now? Uh, have you added some pitches? Have you, what's, your, what's the difference between when you are a freshman to now? I haven't added any pitches, but what's changed is I've gotten better command of the pitches I have. And I've gotten to where I don't walk as many people as my freshman year, which is a big deal. Because I came out of high school, I walked a ton of people freshman year, last year. So this year, the spring and the fall, I've been doing really well with my command. So that's probably the biggest thing that's changed. Have you worked on your change of speed? Because last year you had times where you went different. I, I timed you on. I timed you for your speed. So has that gotten better? Yeah, absolutely. I've been working on that, uh, trying to hold runners and change speeds, both with the tempo and change speeds with my pitching. So. You got a lot of the same guys in the bullpen, and you kind of talked about that being a, you know, being a shutdown group this year. What's what's the mindset amongst you guys? Is it, it is kind of the same group at the end of the bullpen. Mindset is just the same as last year. You just shorten the game, go out there and get people out. This year, you're the you know, I've been on uh, both sides of you know success and failure, and you know, I've really learned a lot since I've been here. And uh, this year, it's really not about me; it's about the team. Um, you know, as a captain, I think it's my responsibility to, you know, really help the young guys, you know, develop and, and we want to, you know, make it to regional. We want to make it to Omaha. So that's really our goal. Do you feel like you were pressuring yourself too hard, uh, you know, in the last year or two? I mean, I could say so, yeah. Maybe uh, trying a little too hard um, instead of smarter. But, you know, you just got to learn from your mistakes and keep moving forward. Um, 
you know, I wouldn't be who I am today without, you know, that success and that failure at the same time. So it's just been a great learning process since, since I've been here. And, uh, you know, we just got to keep keep grinding, get out. Yeah, what have you been, I mean, doing on here on the practice field and, like, right. on, on the offseason? What have you been doing to try to improve your game um, specifically? Now? I would say my mental approach. Um, the mental side is a big part of the game. Um, you know, just like I said, uh, not not work harder, but work smarter. Definitely, uh, you know, I'm still trying to work out, you know, the the flaws in my swing, of course, but uh, also the mental side and just you know, having an approach that fits who I am as a you know as a hitter, and uh, and just you know relaxing and having fun because at the end of the day it's a game and uh, you know if you have fun and, and you play well, ultimately that helps the team. Yeah, how has it been? I mean, coming in, you're de one of the leaders, and then with all these younger guys, how has it been um, helping these kids out? Um, it's it's a process. I mean, of course, the transition from high school to college is a little tough for these guys. Uh, we got a lot of young guys, but you know, um, I've been here for four years. I got a I got some experience under my belt, and uh, you know, just you got to teach them the ropes. You, you, they can't be a roller coaster, you know. They just got to stay even kill the whole time. Um, and just you know, keep up a, a strong global work ethic, and that's uh, that's the biggest thing that we preach is just come out every day, and get better. Did you like that role, or did you kind of have to embrace that role of being a teacher with all these young guys here this year? I mean, I don't mind it. I, I think that you know, since I've been here for four years, I definitely got put in that role in that position. But definitely, I mean, I'm here to help the team, and whatever knowledge I can pass down. I mean, that's what Garver, DJ, all those guys before me, they, they pass that down to me. And it's just, you know, a process. You keep, you keep the, um, passing the torch, basically. Hey, Ryan, in the past, you showed some power hitting right. home run production, okay? And, right. And this is, this, is, this is your senior year. You think you're mm -hmm. going to hit more home runs this year with getting uh, your bat, you know, in order? Um, I would say the approach that I'm going with now is I don't see myself as, you know, a home run hitter, I would see myself as a doubles guy. So I'm really just trying to, you know, stay inside the ball every time I'm up to bat um, and look to drive in the gaps, really. If I get a hold of one, I'll get a hold of one. But uh, I think the thing that'll help me as a player overall is, you know, really looking to hit those gaps. So more of a doubles guy okay. now. How is that? I mean, being a local yeah. local guy and playing four years at UNM, I mean, how is that? I mean, it's like full circle. How does how's it feel? Um, you know, it's been a great experience here at UNM and just uh, being able to play in my home state, my home city, um, you know, it's a great experience. Definitely um, the guys before me put New Mexico on the map and it's definitely our job to, uh, you know, keep that moving forward and, uh, you know, show the rest of the country that New Mexico is a premier program and, uh, you know, we're getting better each year and we definitely want to make it to Omaha. That would be the greatest baseball story in the history of New Mexico if we go definitely. to Omaha, right? Definitely, yeah. I mean, if we could do that, that'd be amazing. Uh, that's definitely our goal every year. And, you know, hopefully if we make it there, I'd like to see the whole city out there. That'd be pretty cool. Good for the university. You, you might be moving around, you know, right. for space, maybe in the outfield, maybe some DH. Right. As a, as a leader, is it kind of whatever it takes this year? Definitely. I mean, whatever my role is, um, I'll be willing to go in if they need me to come in and play first, if they need me to pinch hit, play in the outfield, whatever it is, um, you know, I'm willing to accept what I need to do. Um, any way I can help the team get a win, that's what I'm going to do. If they want me to go throw on the mound, <laughs> who knows? No, that won't happen But <laughs> in my dreams. But, yeah, I mean, anything I can do to help the team win. Like going from short to third, you think it's, you're gonna the adjustment's gonna be okay? Oh, the adjustment's been so so far so good. I mean, I, I kind of like it better over there. A little quicker reaction and stuff. Hot corner, man. I love it. So you think we're gonna lead the nation in double plays with this Bowers? Oh hand? my gosh, yeah. Oh, you know I'm looking at it right now, man. Seeing myself, Bowers, Haggerty. I mean, yeah. freshman year, me and Haggerty. I mean, we were doing fine up the middle, and now we add in Bowers. I mean. Can't get much better than that. Alex Albert made that transition oh. to go from short to third. Have you have you have you called him up at all and picked his brain about anything? This he often? comes to the field all the time, man. He's he's a really good friend of mine still. I mean, I call him from time to time. Uh, 
I haven't really talked to him uh, about him much, but uh, I played with him uh, my freshman year and I learned a lot from him, so it's going to be a good transition. It's kind of a full circle deal a little bit, right? I mean, you kind of moved him over. Yeah. He moved over to help Fre the team, really. fresh, yeah. Freshman year, he moved over to help the team. Now I'm moving over to help the team, you know. Same deal. Hopefully it goes, uh, it goes as smooth, if not better. You going to still lead the uh, Mountain West Conference on being hit with balls? I'm, I'm trying to stop with that a little bit. Uh, my hitting's improved uh, a bit, a great amount thanks to Coach B. I've been hitting the ball a lot better now, but, uh, you know, if I start getting hit, so be it. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what makes this team such a great bunting team? Everybody on this team can bunt somebody over. Mm -hmm. A lot of college teams, not even pros, can do it very well. We've uh, we've really uh, incorporated that a lot with, uh, I'd, I'd say, with Coach Hawk. Uh, he's been more on it ever since uh, freshman year, since we lost all that power. Um, we we kind of resulted more to, to bunting, and now you look at our speed. You know, we have a lot of speed. You know, Coach Spence has been working hard with us too. We're looking good. So a lot of hit and run this year. Uh, a lot of execution. You, you, you're sure to see that, and then we still have some power. You know, we got we have Luis, we have Carl, we have Voss. You know, ha Haggerty and Debo flash some power here and there. So we're gonna be looking good. Coach said this is one of the best pitching defense duos. How does that play into your guys' confidence? Yeah, that's that's a huge part of our confidence because we're we're still really confident in our hitting and everything, you know, with Coach B. But ever since Coach Spence came here, I think our pitching has gotten better and better every year. So, I mean, inner squads, man, those pitches are hard to hit. You know, they're probably the t I'd say the toughest pitching in the Mountain West. So, which place is the toughest place to win on the road in the Mountain West? Oh, win on the road. You know, UNLV has some has some fantastic fans over there. UNLV and uh, Fresno State has some fantastic fans down the line, you know, chirping at you when you're trying to catch a ground ball, you know. Uh, but honestly, it, it's between those those two, and I'd say Air Force is pretty is pretty dangerous up there, you know. Their home field, they're used to playing it. They, they show some power when we go there, so it's between those three. So you got to open up in February in Air Force in the cold. Is that going to be a mental thing? Oh, man. Overcome? Um, <laughs> mentally, uh, Coach B's prepared us mentally since I've been a freshman. So I, I, I'd say uh, we're just gonna go in with the blue collar mentality. And if it's 20 degrees, so be it. We're gonna give, we're gonna, we're gonna kind of give it to him. When you got here as a freshman, did you see yourself being a captain? Oh man, when I got here as a freshman, you, I looked towards Garver and Albritton on who, on what I wanted to emphasize myself in being. And I mean. Hopefully I've done a good job, you know, being a junior and a captain. I mean, that, that kind of shows like, hey, you know, Al Britton and Garver, they kind of showed me the ropes, you know. Hopefully I'll be as good as maybe Al Britton or Garver next year, maybe this year. So who's the fastest guy going down first base on this team? Danny Collier, without a doubt. So is that he guy's left-handed hitter. He's gonna slap. He's gonna slap it, and he's gonna get down the line in about 3.5 seconds. And he's gonna slide Mickey Mantle, head first. So yeah, know, and, he's, and he's gonna slide head first. <laughs> no, Mickey Mantle ran in 3.536. So if he's as fast as Mantle, we're gonna get a lot of. 3.55. Five, five. Five. He's faster. <laughs> You're right. 3.55. Five, five. Mantle, okay. <laughs> what uh, What's your off-season been like uh, in terms of? I know you'd have loved to have been out on the yeah. field all the time last mm -hmm. year. And it was kind of one of those years. Some freak stuff, but you yeah. also had, you know, hamstrings and whatever. What have you done to make sure that you, you're playing every day this year? I, I'd say, you know, our, our workout program is probably one of the best in the country. I mean, even last year, I probably overworked it. That's why the hamstring issues happened. But uh, over summer, not playing summer ball and just doing those ha hamstring exercises, man, I could probably curl up like 300 pounds now. My hamstrings are pretty strong, so. Hopefully we're gonna we're gonna be uh, have a clean season. So if we're healthy and we had some key injuries and you were one of the reasons we had some key injuries last year, yeah. if we're healthy, is there anybody in this league can touch us? I mean, uh, I like I like to say that, but I still have to give some respect to other people. But for sure, I'm I'm confident in our team and going to Omaha and taking this uh, conference again.